Alright, and just to explain the options, the top one, if you can't see it, it says uh, reboot system now. That will just basically turn it off and turn it back on into regular Android. Next one down is um, wipe data slash factory reset, which um, you're going to want to do first. Keep in mind that it will, you're going to have to reactivate with Verizon, which won't be hard at all. You're just, as soon as you boot it up, it'll, it'll make you activate it and all that, um, if you didn't already know. But you're going to hit the camera button, and then go down to yes, using the volume buttons, and then hit the camera button again, and then it'll run through it, and it'll say completed. And you'll go back to the menu, uh, you'll just hit the power button to go back to the menus. I'm not going to do it because I just got my phone reconfigured. So, And then after you've done that, go down one more, hit the camera button again, and then it'll wipe the cache partition, the number three down. And then after you've done that, it, it'll run through the process, and then once it hit, says complete, you're going to hit install, and this process might take a little while. But after it's installed, you're going to hit the camera button when you go to uh, install. And then after you've installed it, um, you can uh, go ahead and reboot the phone, and it will be rooted. I'm going to reboot my now. Alright, let's let that boot. But the, there, there are a ton of benefits to uh, rooting, but the main, main few are um, overclocking, Wi-Fi tethering, um, being able to un un uh, install third-party apps, not that it really matters, but, um, and in the Android market you'll be able to install root user packages, which is a pretty big thing in my opinion. Overclocking is a pretty big thing if you don't already know what it is, it's basically when you speed the processor up faster than it's supposed to go, although it will create more heat inside the phone, and, um, we call it, that was pointless to ignore that. <laughs> Um, it will create more heat inside the phone and shorten the battery life, but if you're really process intensive applications or such and it can't handle them, you can get it to just go faster and run better. But um, one way you'll be able to tell whether or not it's rooted is if you hit this and then go to, um, um, you'll see super user permissions. If you see that, it is rooted. You are very, it's successful. But after this, it's all been rooted, um, and that is, I think, the end of this tutorial. You, you want to go ahead and uh, reactivate, but that, that'll be something you can do on your own. I'm not going to show you how to do that, because I don't really want to go through all this again. It's a big pain. But that's it.